happy travel day <laughs> i was trying to be very quiet because it is six o'clock in the morning we are up and ready to head to south carolina and i thought that i would bring you all with us today chris is currently outside getting everything ready he's about to walk inside as i was saying <laughs> Chris is now walking Augie because that's something that we definitely make sure to do on travel days is to get a good walk for him in the morning and the rest of our morning is basically just going to look like packing stuff up, putting stuff away, making sure that nothing is high enough that it's going to fall. Like we have a whole entire checklist that we use on our phone um, of things to do the morning of a travel day. So. I may have already said this, I don't know. I kind of forgot when Chris <laughs> came inside, but we are headed to South Carolina and that's actually our last stop before we officially head back to Florida for winter. We're like young snowbirds. It's great, I'm excited. <laughs> uh, but that's our last stop and it's super exciting because we're actually going to like near the Greenville area and I've never been to Greenville, I've always wanted to go and one of our really good friends just moved there plus chris's mom is going to come visit us and stay in the rv with us so that's going to be really fun because we've never had anyone stay in the rv with us before uh so we're gonna test it out see how it goes she's just gonna chill on the pullout couch and yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much it i'm trying to think if there's anything else this morning um another must for travel days at least for me is a good stretch because I just like sitting in the car for eight hours is really hard, which yes, our travel day is eight hours <laughs> and we talk about it like it's a normal thing, but normally people don't travel that much in a day. Uh, some people do, but some people just go like 200 miles and we're like, no, let's just go like 500 miles. Who cares? Let's get it over with. So sitting in the car that long really puts a toll on your body. So I try to try to stretch <laughs> and make sure that my hips aren't like screaming at me by hour eight which they normally are but I try and stretch get a good walk in um I also try to do some sort of devotional in the morning because travel days can be super crazy and hectic and it's just nice to have a good start to my day um have a good footing so then hopefully that the peace and hope and love and joy <laughs> will flow through the rest of it because it does get crazy. Things don't go as planned. So we'll see how today goes because in the past on travel days, we've lost a sway bar. Our truck bed's been open for like hundreds of miles. Our trailer brakes have become disconnected while we're driving. That was through St. Louis too. And it's like the East St. Louis, if you know what East St. Louis is. Uh, so yeah, it can get pretty crazy, but I'm excited to see what happens today. So we're going to make breakfast, pack the rest of the stuff up and then hit the road. make sure to pack a lunch because we or at least I are the type of people who don't like to stop <laughs> every time we travel for fast food so pack a lunch I think Chris just made a sandwich I have like this pesto quinoa bowl that I made yesterday I was up until what like 9 30 making it mm -hmm. I know, yeah, I forgot to make it yesterday during the day, and so then I was up until 9 30 like picking basil leaves off the stems and and yeah, so trying to make this pesto, but that's what we're having. Then we also have some snacks in here. I bring all the snack foods, like I normally have a bag full of snacks. So today we have some Siete chips. We have some apple rings. And then we also have some other crackers. I don't know. And I guess lemons. <laughs> Well, I put the lemons in here because we don't like to leave a lot of food out in the RV since it does get warmer in here as we travel. So I try to bring foods that shouldn't be like super warm in the truck with us. Yeah, that's pretty much it for food. <laughs> and then we got, we got Bubs. He's getting his breakfast.
All right. Hey, Bubs. Are you excited? Are you excited? We are finally pulling out. Chris is just taking the trash over there. The last thing that we have to do. And then we are good to go on the open road. Definitely gonna be there by 4.30. Yeah, so our time to leave that we were planning to leave was eight. We did really good, because it is 7.57. I don't think we've done that good in a while. We've never left early. Yeah. We've left like That's maybe nice. like less than five so minutes late before, but we've never left before we were planning on leaving. Yeah. So. Except for Alabama, because the first time that we planned on leaving to go to Alabama was like six, and then we woke up like an hour and a half earlier than we said we were going to, so that yeah. doesn't really count. <laughs> True story. Um, so hey, normally up. though, I'm the one driving in the morning. I like taking the morning shift, but I didn't get to eat my breakfast, and I'm I'm frustrated because I filmed making my breakfast because it's so delicious, but then it just didn't actually film. So I have, let me see if I can grab it. I made apple pie smooth oatmeal. I love smooth oatmeal. It's just a way better texture. Okay. And it's so good. I'm him. You're what? I got that dog in me. Whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to eat my breakfast. Chris is going to drive. I'm just going to enjoy the... Enjoy the morning. Everything went pretty smoothly. So, how do you feel about that pack up? It was good. You gotta give me a kiss before we get going too far because I don't think we've kissed yet this morning. Ooh, okay. Well, that's because, like, we don't ever, we're not <laughs> nice to each other on travel days. So, we have to, like, be intentionally nice to each other. Yeah, I don't, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to say intentionally, but, like, we're just trying to be better. Yeah. Well, you have to pay more attention to it. Yeah, we're trying, because travel days can just be so stressed. Can you turn the music down, baby, please? See, I said please, but travel days can just be so stressful, and so it's better when we're nicer to each other, but emotions rise, things go crazy, things don't go as planned, and it's just easy to take it out. Sway bars fall off, and bike, beds open. bike tires fall off, because that's what I didn't say earlier, but also our bike tire has fallen off. So Chris currently has a bike with only one tire. And so what, it's a unicycle? I mean, I, it's definitely not built like a unicycle. <laughs> Whatever. That'd be it very has one hard tire. to ride as a unicycle. <laughs> Whatever. But so things don't normally go as planned. So we just try and be nice to each other. So that's the goal. But I'm going to go give him a kiss at the stop sign. There's not a stop sign. Whatever. We'll stop somewhere and eat my breakfast. And Augie's just gonna chill in the back. He'll be asleep in like 20 minutes once we get on the highway. Yeah, he'll be asleep pretty quickly. Say bye! Say hi, friends. Stop number one. We are just at a truck stop. We're just kind of out in the middle. I will say, I found a dead cockroach in the bathroom when I went in there. Oh, it's smelling. Fun times. <laughs> you know, we're just gonna swing it around. There we go. That works. Nice. We're in Norlana. That's what that, I don't know if it's a 
town is called Norlina. Hold on, let me take my cue. Oh, thanks. How you doing? I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. Because you've been driving the whole way so far. You've been driving almost what? Three hours? Yeah, just about. We left like right at about eight o'clock. Yeah. Do you have to pee at all? Not really. We've done pretty good. Like, we haven't stopped a lot today. Well, we've only stopped once. Yeah. That's, We're going to need to stop for and us. get gas relatively soon. We probably can make it another 30, 45 minutes. Yeah. Like, obviously, if we see... Because we're going to have to stop and get gas twice, no matter what. So yeah. We can find somewhere we can stop, and then we'll just have to stop one more time for gas, and that'll be it. Okay. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I mean, we've only got less than five hours now. Less than five hours. I feel like that's just so nonchalant to us. It's like, whatever. Five hours. I mean, it's like, I still have two hours left of one podcast episode. <laughs> Yeah, Chris is listening to a podcast that I don't really like, so I've just been watching Junior Baking Off, Junior Bake Off on Netflix. Yeah. And editing some stuff because I'm not a fan, but since he's driving, he can listen to whatever he wants. But yeah, so we'll stop here soon, and that says NC. I thought it said no. <laughs> it's made out of bushes, but but yeah pretty good driving day so far. Augie's just pass out in the back. Oops. Hey, bubs. Woo! Woo. Doing great, babe. Here. So we're now trying to find some gas. So should I get off here? Or no? Yeah, just get off here. Try and see if there's any good options. Which there are none. So we like stopping at like Love's or Pilot or Flying J. They have big spaces. Especially Bucky's. Bucky's is a good one too. Well, but there's, been there's one. I know, we've <laughs> seen one Bucky's. It's in Florida where we already knew where it was. Okay, Mr. Sassafras. <laughs> Goodness. We have to be nice to each other. They're mostly like in Texas. Yeah. But anyway, so there's not really any good options, so we're going to try and find a place to get gas, which this place, I mean, the shell, you can just go in and then make a left out there. I don't think I can make a left through that spot, though. No? Is it too, do you want to wait behind this? Probably. This Cadillac back here? Do you think you can make that left? Uh, I think so. I think you can do it. You know, just casually, almost out on the road. But hey, we're good. Everything's good. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and drink some water because I definitely have not had enough. <laughs> Well, we are, what, 16 miles? 
15 now. 15 now from actually being in South Carolina. I feel like today has been a really easy travel day, if I'm honest. What do you think? Yeah. Like, I mean, we haven't had a sway bar fall off. We haven't had a bike tire fall off. So I think it's been pretty successful. And yeah. It's just been going straight for 500 miles. Yeah, we've been on 85 for how long? Probably 350 of them. Yeah, which this trip was 500 miles. So it's like most of the time we were just on 85, but we are almost there. Um, normally Chris and I will switch off driving, but today he's just powered through it and done it all. Like props to you, babe, you're, you're so awesome. I try. I know you do. But yeah, so he's been driving the whole way. He's been still listening to his podcast. I've been watching Netflix, trying to take a nap. I don't know, listening to music. So, but it's been a good travel day. We're definitely excited to be there and to set up and just get out of the car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but we're almost there. So whenever we get to a spot, normally I'm the one who backs it in just because we've tried it, like me being outside guiding Chris in, and I feel like I'm a way better backer in than I am a guider. Excuse you, I'm trying to film a video. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I don't like guiding and I just find that, even Chris says it, that I just am better at backing in. So I really enjoy it and I really like it. And yeah, someone just looking at me as they drove by, but hey! <laughs> Stop! You're fine. Stop. No need for that. But yeah, so we are going to get this baby hooked up, eat some dinner, and maybe go for a little date night. And I'm here for it. I think I lied about the basketball court being nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is just beautiful. I think it's great. <laughs> so I'm going right, right? Just kidding, it's a pull through. Do we have a deck? <laughs> I wonder if it's somebody's that like left it behind or something. I don't know, but this is our new home for two weeks. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess we have a deck. That's hey, pretty sweet. okay. I can deal with that. Am I in? We have finally arrived. Thank the Lord. It's funny because before I said that, oh, it's such an easy travel day. Like, nothing happened. Everything's been smooth sailing. And then we got here and it was just like, mm, at least that's what it felt like because we got here and our site, which was really cool because we do have a deck off the side, but the site itself was super unlevel. So we had to rinky dink our tires up. We have like little tile levelers or things that lift your tires up on one side. So we do have those and that is what we use. But I mean, like we got it as high as you possibly can. Like I'm gonna put a picture because it's actually insane because they're just sitting on like this block and we've never had them up that high and we're still leaning to that side a little bit, which it's fine. It's somewhat level. I mean, it is level, but it's not perfectly level. It's only about a degree off, but you can still kind of tell. So that was really frustrating because we spent probably 30 minutes just trying to get that 
tire or those tires up as high as we possibly could because it just was not level inside whatsoever and of course the week that my mother-in-law is coming to stay with us and like sleep in one of the slides is the week where it's like this is the most unlevel site we have ever had and it's just crazy <laughs> um and there was like no room for us to park our truck and just setting up it was just this big ball of craziness so it probably took us about I don't know the clock's right there I mean we got here we had to have gotten here about 4 45 and it's 6 30 now we just finished eating dinner so it took us I mean an hour and a half to set up and that is so unusual for us we have gotten it down where it's like all right we got it. We're done in like 30 minutes, but instead it took an hour and a half because we spent 30 minutes trying to get that side of the RV up. So fun times trying to level your home so you can live in it properly and not feel like you're walking sideways the entire week. But yes, all in all, we're here. It's done. It's been a really good travel day. Pretty easy breezy except for that last bit. And I'm just ready to go spend time with my husband. I'm ready for us to go have a date night. We are going to a pumpkin patch, which if you haven't read my blog piece about my favorite things to do outdoors during the fall time, um, definitely go and check out my website, close to creation.com. I'll link it below for you. But that's just where I'm talking about all my favorite things to do outdoors in the fall. And one of my favorite things is to go to a pumpkin patch and go on a hayride and go through a corn maze and we're doing all of that tonight and I'm kind of a scaredy cat so it'll be interesting because the sun is going down and it's definitely getting darker but I'm just ex I'm excited to go because we haven't done that this season yet so maybe we'll even get a pumpkin but for that part I'm going to completely leave my phone out of the equation filming out of the equation so this is where I leave you off. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like it. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, my videos have been all over the place lately, but it's okay. So if you have that notification bell on, you know exactly when they are posted. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you want more videos like this style where we're kind of going through RV life and taking you along with us, then let me know in the comments below. And if there's anything else you want to see with RV life, let me know that too. Um, but yeah, that's it for this time. I'm going to go have fun at a pumpkin patch. <laughs> have a good one. Shot. The cheerleaders at your school never did that? No. You said, are you ready? And I said, you said, for what? And that's like the chant. They say, the gigolo. And it's, yeah, we got our hands up high, our feet down low, and that's the way we gigolo. Turn around, touch the ground. Get back up here, break it down. Jig. I go. You hate this. <laughs> very, very nice, baby. stretching in. I swear those hips just scream at you. <laughs>